Hi folks, it's uh, half past one on a Thursday, and so it's uh, it's meditation time. Thank you for thank you for joining me. Um, almost uh, sorry, I can't uh, be like on stage, you know, where we there's a build up and there's it's dark and uh, or there's a curtain or something like that. It's just me creaking around in the in the kitchen. But um, um, even though it's quite nice outside, we're we're in my cozy my cozy library with uh, with all my ancient books and uh, by candlelight here. I hope that makes you feel cozy. Um, so thank you so much for for joining me and uh, the Bell and Sebastian family, so to speak. Uh, I hope you're healthy i hope you're doing well um healthy in body and in mind and i hope your your family are doing good too whoever you're living with just now i assume that most of you the vast majority of you are still in 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 lockdown uh, apart from be interested to hear from any swedes that are that are watching uh anyone up in sweden um you know used them to to have a bit more freedom up there. So you know, get in touch, tell me what you're up to. Maybe you're meditating right now underneath a tree, which would be great because the subject of today's um, little meditation is amazing nature. And, um, you know, so we're going to be thinking about the, the natural world because I, I don't know about you, but during this this time of uh, limited freedom, nature, the nature and the the movement of spring, at least in the northern hemisphere, I know there's you know people tuning in from near the equator and in Australia and stuff, but in in the north, you know we got the spring coming on and it's it's a great consolation while this uh, lockdown business is is going on. Um. I usually I usually enjoy this time of year anyway, but just to see the this the spring creeping along and all the the trees starting to bud and the different flowers changing and all the 
animals and birds getting excited. You, you know, it's something that you can watch if you're lucky enough to have a garden or if you're just looking out the window. But uh, on my daily constitutional, my daily walk, uh, you know, down beside the river, I've just been drinking it in like like never before. And so, you know, that's um, why I thought we could do, we could think about uh, nature just now because maybe we've, you know, when we're rushing about, maybe we, we take that stuff for granted. And I, I don't think that when this is over, we'll quite go back just to the way that we were before. I think we will be thankful for um, things that, that maybe we were um, taking for granted. Um, and I really hope, I really hope we can, we can take this appreciation on afterwards because it's obviously going to help with the next big challenge, which is the, the climate change, you know, so I, I, I'm, I'm secretly hoping we can just segue easily into the, you know, this the climate change, we can reverse that and without even noticing that we've done it. That's how naive I am. But it's, you know, it's okay to be naive. I'm happy. Um, oh, I just noticed my wife just called me. I hope that doesn't mean that uh, there's something wrong with the uh, there's something wrong with the feed. I hope you can I hope you can hear me and, and see me okay. But that's that's quite good that she's she's watching for a change. Usually, she forgets that I'm on. So uh, I'll say hi to Marissa. Um, okay, so we're going to get into the meditation uh, quite quickly. So I thought we could do what we've done the other times that we could start with, a, um, you know, start with a, a breathing meditation. That's always a good way to, to sort of focus, focus your mind and quieten down your mind and try to put things behind you. And then then if you don't mind, I mean, if you trust me, you know, let's, let's kind of do a, I thought we could do a sort of hippie thing where, you know, first of all, we find a safe space in our minds. We imagine a, a safe place, a place that we love, a place in, in nature, you know, it, and it can be, it could be your back garden or it could be like a favorite tree in a local park or, it could be somewhere you, you've been on holiday that that you just remember, just like a, just a, a nice place for you to be. And then, so we're going to, you know, we're going to meditate on that for a few minutes. Then we're going to go and imagine a plant or a, or a tree, something in nature. And we're going to meditate on that for a few minutes. And then actually we're going to think about an animal uh, or animals and you know it could obviously be your pet um, and we're just going to try and empathize with these different things in nature and and be thankful for them so so yeah this is this is pretty um you know, this is tree hugging stuff. I hope you can go with that. Okay, so let's get in a comfortable position. Um, you know, sitting up. If you can sit up with a, a sort of a straight back, that would be, that would be the, the best actually, because we, we do want to keep sort of alert, but comfortable. And if you can actually I'll put my hands on my, my lap and I'm going to close my eyes, but you can 
keep them slightly open if you want. Let a little bit of light in to keep you, keep you awake. Now this is great, this is your special time and I, wa I want to thank you again for, for taking this time. So just a couple of nice breaths out. And whatever you've got, whatever is bothering you or a bad feeling or just just let it let it go out. And let your mind go inwards now. And there is some peace there somewhere. So let's think about our, our breath. Let's focus on our breath. tip of your nose, maybe you notice it cool as it comes in and warmer as it leaves. And let's just take a couple of minutes. You know, I, I think I can feel you meditating with me and that's, it's a, that's a powerful thing. And you know, even if you're, if you don't achieve this amazing peace, at least feel that we're all here together doing something. So that's a comfort.
If your mind wanders, that's okay. Just come back to the breath. So now that we've found this little bit of peace, we can focus a little bit better. So I want you to imagine a place somewhere you're fond of somewhere outside in nature. Could be beside water. Could be in the woods. Could be up a hill. Even just maybe the roof of your building and looking out over the treetops. Just go somewhere safe. And let's spend a few minutes there. That's great, because there's no one around. And the sun's just come out. It's going to warm your bones. We really need that up in the north here.
And then just for a minute, I want you to imagine a, a tree or a plant. And it could be close by to where you're sitting. Just want you to imagine reaching out, maybe touching the bark or the branch. Digging the, digging the tree. Just acknowledge that if the trees and plants weren't here, we wouldn't be here either. After all, we spent the last hundred years trying to reverse this stuff, the pollution that we've made. Finally, I want you to imagine an animal. It could be your pet or your pets. It could be something out in the wild. And let's just, can we just be thankful? Try to empathize with the, with the animal. Because after all, it wants just exactly the same thing that you do. It's just trying to be happy. So let's just focus on that for a minute. Let's just extend our gaze, our thoughts, and our wishes to the wider world. And let's dedicate the peace that we've enjoyed. Let's dedicate it to the good of the whole planet. Because right now, as a group, we're spread right around the planet. Oh. 
all the way from Argentina to Japan, from Alaska to New Zealand. When you're ready, just slowly come out of the meditation. I'm going to talk for a few minutes more. I'm going to open my eyes. I mean, you can do what you want. You can, you can just keep your eyes shut if you like. And I hope that was um, I hope that was okay. I hope it wasn't too uh, too far out for you. But uh, you know these are these are far out times, and uh, so this kind of thinking is like an opposing force to all the weirdness that's happening. It's good. I was quite surprised uh, um, when I, I thought about an animal and I was going to think about a, the blackbird that's been um, singing near our house, which I love. But um, I actually ended up thinking about um, our old family dog who was a, Scotty, a Scottish terrier called Fergus. And uh, he, he was a funny wee guy. You almost like you could imagine him walking with a stick because he walked funny. Um, I think he had a, a stroke when he was young. But uh, anyway, I just just imagine tickling him behind the ear and then his wee foot would go like that. <laughs> um, do you know, yesterday I, like on the way home from, uh, well, I was just, doing my usual walk and uh, coming by the the river path on the way home and it was quite late um it was just dusky it's getting dark and uh, i sat down on a, a log right beside the river the bend in the river where it, it got quiet and i was just looking across and there was a bat you know flipping around and um and then there was a duck on the other side, on the other bank, underneath a, a kind of overhang. And I was just thinking, wow, look, he's, you know, he's roosting for the night. He's down for the night. Imagine being him or her just like safe, you know, in a safe place. And I was trying to imagine being this duck and being out all night uh, and what it would be like and really trying to get into that headspace because I, I do love, I love being outside. Anyway, when I, um, when I came back the same way this morning and I, I, I jumped over the fence to see, I thought, well, the duck's going to be away. But I just wanted to see if, if it was around. And I looked across and actually it wasn't a duck at all. It was a burst football. Um, so I, I, I spent like half an hour last night empathizing with, uh, with the burst football still made me feel good though. Um, so actually, I'm just, you know, I'm going to talk for a couple more minutes. Um, it's, it's funny. My, my friends, like years ago used to call me nature boy and this was when um you know i i got sort of sick about you know 30 years ago at the end of the 80s i got chronic fatigue syndrome and me and i know that there, there's people watching just now who have me 
and um you know i think in a, to an extent people like us we were, we were at a slight advantage when all this corona stuff started because you know we're so used to the notion of being locked down and and used to the notion of our our world stopping um you know that's certainly what happened to me but um you know i had to give up um work and college and friends even you know at some point i got really ill and i couldn't really go outside but one of the things that was uh i started appreciating much more was just nature and the stuff around me and uh even when i started to get better i that never that never left me i was always you know climbing up a tree to sit there for a while and that's when uh my friends started calling me nature boy or well, my one particular friend kira especially but it did it sort of in a sense even though i was going slow like we all are just now this forced uh, slow down i was never so awake uh, it was almost like the the hive the buzz of activities the um the everyday activities had come to an end but i was i was really awake and just waiting for something to happen i always felt like my radar was was on all the time and i hope to some extent that you, that maybe you feel like that you get the chance to feel like that just now i know depending on what your house situation or your family situation is i i really hope you get a chance to to sit out in nature and and appreciate what's going on and in fact these meditations are exactly that uh you know mindfulness is a a word that's is very popular these days but we are just you know that's what we're doing we're being mindful we're um we're hopefully wide awake and listening uh you know listening to our hearts when we're doing these meditations um another wee thing i remember one of the teachers at the center who is called kelsey drolkar and she's down in brighton now but when she was teaching she said that we should we should all be more like dogs um you know how a dog comes into a room and it's so it's so happy to see everybody and it it doesn't really discriminate it just it will go around usually it will just go around every person one after the other now maybe it's you know looking for snacks or something like that but it just seems like the dog is is happy to to see everyone and she suggested that we should be more like um we should be more like dogs that we should uh go into a room and and uh just try to treat everybody equally and cheerfully which uh you know i know i know some people like like that who are always like that and they are they're the people you want to be with you know i just you know these pe- people are amazing sometimes you know you just feel that they have an, this inner thing going on um and i was always just thinking wow i want to be with that person i want to be more like that person how do they do it um so maybe we should we should try to be more like dogs um okay so i guess my time is up and do you know i'm just I, just off the top of my head how about next week uh same time same place let's do a let's do a healing meditation specifically you know for you 
for physical ailments, mental ailments. Um, let's get get deep into it next week and, and do a nice healing meditation for you. Uh, but thank you so much for for joining me again. I always feel much better after I've I've done this. So um, I'm really grateful that you're you've hung around. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or you know have a good sleep if you're if you're way out in the east or good morning if you're way out west. Um, but this is Stuart from Bell and Sebastian saying cheerio for now.